last page. Here we go. How do we figure out protons, neutrons, and electrons for ions? If you have a cation or an anion, a positively charged ion or a negatively charged ion, how are you going to know how many particles that has? Well, it's very much the same as when you have a neutral atom. When you're looking at these numbers, the 25 that you see there is still the mass number, which why you see 25 over here. The 12 at the bottom is still the atomic number. We still have 12 protons. These two columns will always 100% of the time match. Our proton number plus our neutron number gives us our mass number. So if the mass is 25 and we have 12 protons, this guy has to be 13. So what makes this particular particle of Mg, Mg is magnesium, what makes this guy different is that it also has this little plus 2. The plus 2 tells you the charge of that particular ion. Just so you know, you can write it as plus 2 or 2 plus. Both are considered acceptable. I flip them all the time, so it's kind of whatever just comes out of your stylus these days um, is okay. But if you have an ion, it's the electron column that changes. So I'm going to write that here. Changes if you have an ion. If you had a neutral atom of magnesium with 12 positive protons, you would need 12 negative electrons to balance that out, right? But we don't have a neutral atom. It's telling us plus 2. So here's the way I like to think of it. Pretend like you have a basketball game going on between the proton team and the electron team. And the charge tells you who's winning and by how much. So the proton team has 12 points. And the charge plus 2 tells us that those positive protons are winning by 2 points. That means that the electron team must only have 10 points if the protons are winning by 2. A common mistake I see people do in the beginning with these is when they see magnesium plus 2, they think, oh, plus 2, that means I need two extra protons. And they'll write down that this particle has 14 protons. But that can't happen because when you look at your periodic tables, if you had 14 protons, you wouldn't be magnesium anymore. You would be silicon. So that's why we have to leave the proton column alone, but we could mess with our electron column and have it still stay magnesium. I'll do one more of those and then I'll have you guys try some. So if our proton number is 17, that means our atomic number is also 17. Our mass number would have to be 35 because we add our 17 protons to our 18 neutrons. Now, how do we go back and fill in this symbol? Well, we know the mass number is 35. We know the atomic number is 17. So now we need to go to our periodic tables and find atomic number 17. I see that that guy is chlorine. But we aren't just talking about neutral chlorine in this problem because if it was neutral, the proton number and the electron number would match. But this time, the electrons are winning by one. So I'm going to say that my charge is negative one. I also have to include that charge over here, negative one. You might also see that guy, I'll write it down below, as 3517Cl minus with no number. If you don't see a number, it's an implied 1. If it's anything other than 1, a positive or negative 2, positive or negative 3, you have to include the number. Okay. What I'd like you to do right now is hit the pause button 
and then see if you can get those next two rows and then come back in a minute and see if you get the right answers. Okay, if you're coming back, atomic number of 13 means 13 protons. We would need 14 neutrons to add up to our mass number of 27. Mass of 27, atomic number 13. When you look on the periodic table, atomic number 13 is aluminum. But it's not just neutral aluminum, it's positive 3 aluminum, so I have to include that on my symbol. Positive 3 means the protons are winning by 3. So if the proton team has 13 points and they're winning by 3, that means that we have 10 electrons. For that bottom one, we have uh, 10 electrons with a charge of negative 3. So that means the electrons are winning by 3. So if the electron team has 10 points and they're winning by 3, that means the proton team has 7 points. If it has 7 protons, its atomic number is 7. We could add up protons and neutrons to get our mass. So then our symbol would be 14, 7. You go to your periodic table and see that you're talking about nitrogen, but not just neutral nitrogen. We're talking about nitrogen with a charge. So I've got to throw a minus 3 on there. If you don't like the whole proton team versus the electron team thing, another way to think about it is like it's a little algebra problem to figure out that charge. If you do protons minus electrons, you'll get the charge. So for example, in that first row, we have 12 protons minus 10 electrons, positive two. Or when we did 17 protons minus 18 electrons, we got negative one. 